Okay guys, let's talk about air fuel ratio control. Uh, this is something uh, you have to select in the input config screen. Um, on your output one and two, you would have to select AFR control. And in order for this to work correctly, you have to have your Lambda enabled and configured. And you would also have to have the controller wired a specific way so that it can control a nitrous and a fuel solenoid independently uh, to achieve a specific air fuel ratio. Uh, the ramp setup is very similar um, to just setting up a ramp um, not using AFR control. Um, so we did talk about how to set up ramps in a previous video. Uh, if you haven't watched that, that would probably be a good video for you to watch before we go any further. Um, but if you have watched that, um, we'll kind of walk you through how the AFR control works. And I'll set up a quick ramp here, probably a, a common little ramp uh, type that most people would use. So we have a time-based ramp, starts at 30%, ends at 100%. Uh, the ramp will start as soon as all of our inputs are met, and the ramp would last two and a half seconds, um, at which time uh, the ramp would be at 100% uh, nitrous flow. Uh, so we would then, if we're gonna control AFR, uh, enable your closed loop control, and you can set your lambda set point uh, to whatever lambda you want it to be. Um, a lot of people will run these. I've seen guys run them lean. I've seen them run them rich. Um, but this is totally user adjustable. Whatever lambda set point uh, you want it to try and achieve. Uh, if you want to try it to try and achieve a 12 and a half to one air fuel ratio, um, you'd have to set the lambda uh, that you want. You have to set lambda by fuel type. Um, uh, you have to know kind of where your lambda is compared to your air fuel ratio. Um, so you set your lambda set, set point here um, and it would then try to achieve as your nitrous is flowing, uh, the Maximizer 5 will pulse the nitrous and fuel solenoids independently um, to richen it up or lean it out. Um, it can only flow as much as 100%, but it can pull back. So if it's if it's too rich um, and you're already at 100% fuel, uh, so being the fuel solenoid is always or is already all the way open, it would then have to pull nitrous back in order to richen up. So it can't can't add more fuel than it has jet or solenoid for. Uh, but the controller will do all that for you. If it's too rich or too lean, it will then control the nitrous or fuel solenoid to adjust that air fuel ratio. Um, your sensitivity is how fast it will make that correction. Um, in most cases, one is fast enough. Uh, if you do more than one, it'll, it can get into a cycle where uh, you go too rich, too lean, too rich, too lean. Um, leaving it at one normally is slow enough that it can uh, see an error and a, correct that error and maintain uh, the lambda that you have it set to as you're going down track. Um, all the other inputs and all the other options here would be the same as a normal ramp type. Um, so make sure you watch the ramp setup video on how to set those up. Um, other than that, that covers the AFR control.